Midnight Madness on the radio with Jay Billis. Fans enjoy it as well. They love Midnight Madness in the Great Northwest, especially at Gonzaga, where they have a program going up there. Mark Few has made the NCAA tournament every year of his 11-year coaching career that began with Gonzaga back in 99, 2000. 291 wins, 73 losses. They got it rolling up there with the Zags. Let's get a preview from the Great Northwest. And welcome to Spokane, Washington. Midnight Madness continues Gonzaga style. You're inside McCarthy Athletic Center on campus at Gonzaga, and they're the fans. Boy, they are loyal and awesome fans here at Gonzaga. Well over 6,000 expected here in this building. You will not find an empty seat guaranteed. And it's been a wonderful, wonderful place to play college basketball for a long time now, and certainly one of the toughest in Sean. Tough because in the six-year history of this building, Gonzaga has lost just four times. You don't want to come here and play, simply. This is a community that loves its basketball. These students have been lined up for a couple of days, just fired up to get their first look at this year's team. And last season, Gonzaga won their 10th consecutive regular season title in the West Coast Conference. This program has been rolling for a decade. Will it continue? Yeah, it certainly should. you got seven of your top eight scores returning from a year ago. The one obvious that is not going to be back is the WCC Player of the Year, Matt Bolden, who averaged close to 16 points per game, but really his intangibles was a difference maker. And Elias Harris, is he the West Coast Conference Player of the Year this year? Time will tell, but he certainly broke onto the season, or onto the uh, the scene a year ago, and has been awesome. Yeah, he can really do it all. He can drive from the outside, but also show you a little bit of his deep range. He worked on this over the summer when he played for the German national team, where he played the small forward position. He'll play both the small forward and the power forward this year, but he is dangerous with his athleticism and his ability to get up into the rim. He certainly could be the WCC Player of the Year this year. And Harris also on the preseason Wooden Award list. So is Stephen Gray. Now a senior for Mark Few and Gonzaga. This kid's a great guard, and Robert Zachary, one of the tough guys in college basketball. Well, well the team has great balance, and you mentioned Gray and Harris both being on that preseason Wooden Award list. I, I think that's truly remarkable when you think about all the other programs around college basketball. Only five other teams outside of Gonzaga can say they've got two players on that preseason list. And dominance. When you talk about dominance, now Gonzaga has certainly dominated the West Coast Conference. I don't know if there's a team across the landscape of college basketball that has dominated more than what Gonzaga's done in this last day. Well, the numbers speak for themselves. It's easy to say you dominate a conference, but when you look at the winning percentage, over 90% so far in the last 10 years, 10 regular season titles, 7 tournament titles, 9, count them, 9 WCC Players of the Year in the last 10 years, and 8 Coach of the Year honors. This has been an amazing run for the Gonzaga Bulldogs, and it doesn't seem to have an end in sight. And they're getting it done in the regular season, and they're also now getting it done in the NC2A tournament. 12 consecutive of trips to that tournament and four trips to the Sweet 16. What a difference a decade makes because a decade ago people would say, wow, we, we won the WCC. We're, we're going to go into yeah. the NCAA tournament. Now there's an expectation built here because of the success that they will not only win the WCC, but they're going to win games in March as well. And that's how this program has developed underneath Mark Few. And of course, they've got this great front, front court this year at Gonzaga, but it's the guards that have made Gonzaga over these years. And of course, we have to go back to the early 1980s when we talk about John Stockton and those short shorts. He is one of the great players of all time. And then Dandy Dan Dick Howe, the first team All-American for Gonzaga, followed up by Blake Stepp, possibly the greatest all-around player in the history of Gonzaga basketball. The list continues. Rivio, a great free-throw shooter and three-point shooter as well. Well, and then you have Jeremy Fargo, the great athleticism that he brought to this court back in 2008. And then, of course, Matt Bolden. You mentioned it. This is an amazing run of great guard play. Mm -hmm. Now, will Stephen Gray be that guy this year to step up? He battled some inconsistencies a year ago. He's going to need to eliminate that because his inconsistencies at the offensive end sometimes spilled over to other aspects of his game. He also will have an increased leadership role, which I think might be the most important aspect that Stephen Gray can bring to this year's Gonzaga Bulldogs team. But when he gets a piece of the paint, he certainly can find his way to the hoop and finish great athleticism. And if there's a question for Gonzaga, it's at the point guard position. There's certainly no questions from three, four, or five for Gonzaga. They're loaded, they're big, and you better find some wingspans to defend these guys. Well, you look at the front court, it is a top ten front court in college basketball.
basketball this year because of Zachary and because of Harris in particular. This duo is dynamic. When you look at the mixture of size, strength, the physicality that Robert Zachary can bring out there, and then Elias Harris, who can do it all, all over the floor, as we said, his range. And then you've got a couple of guys coming off the bench that have great size, wingspan, can stretch the defense, a little more finesse guys, but the combination of this front court group really is one of the best in all of the country. You throw in Kelly Olenek, he's seven feet, Sam Dower, he's 6'10". Ladies and gentlemen, Gonzaga is coming big. They're coming big. Midnight Madness in Spokane. It continues Gonzaga style. The scrimmage coming up soon.